This is Yerevan's own school for prodigies. It's where Armenia's most brilliant minds are educated. The Artashes Shahinyan Special Physical Mathematical School has over 600 students. Many of its graduates are internationally renowned scientists or major figures in Armenia's public and political spheres. National hero Vitya Ivazyan, Education Minister Artashes Petrosyan. The school was founded exactly half a century ago. To the youths who graduated from this institution, the doors of the world's most prestigious universities, from Cambridge to Sacramento's MTI College, are wide open. We have alumni who currently study at Boston University, the Sorbonne, the University of Pennsylvania. My personal wish is that two or three out of ten would return to Armenia and dedicate themselves to science, so that our country too would benefit from their talents. Mathematician Haigaz Navasardian is also a graduate of the Physical Mathematical School. He's been teaching here for over three decades. Many of the school's alumni, like 29-year-old Bilor Kurhinyan, go on to teach at their alma mater. In 2003, prior to my graduation, I began to teach as a volunteer. Already in 2006, soon after I received my baccalaureate, Mr. Navasardian officially hired me as a teacher. This is one of the most important days in the school calendar, when trees are planted at the Olympic Grove. The students holding spades are winners of medals at International Science Olympiads. Since 1993, our students have won close to 80 medals at International Olympiads. Last year alone, physical mathematical school students competing in Armenia's national teams won 23 medals at international Olympiads. The number of medals garnered by our students alone is double the totals of Georgia and Azerbaijan combined. 17-year-old Hurant, along with four classmates, has won a bronze medal at an international physics Olympiad held in Kazakhstan. He's now preparing for an Olympiad in India. This time, he's resolved to beat his Chinese competitors. <laughs> As a rule, the gold medals are won by Chinese students. The top four medals were picked up by Chinese. An Austrian came in fifth. One crucial ingredient which Armenian students perennially lack in order to feed their Chinese competitors is scientific equipment for hands-on experimentation. Sometimes, during international biology or physics competitions, it's only too clear that our students have not even seen such instruments, let alone performed experiments with them. The name of our school might give the impression that physics and mathematics are the only subjects that are taught. But there's much more. At this year's International Biology Olympiad, the Armenian team secured three bronze medals, two of which were won by our own students. But I also must emphasize that we still don't have a biology lab on our campus. Students from throughout Armenia have converged at the Physical Mathematical School today to compete in the finals of the National Physics Olympiad. Only a hundred of the brightest kids, out of a pool of tens of thousands of entrants, have made it to the final stage. Any student, irrespective of his or her level of knowledge and scholastic performance, can participate in the competition. 43,000 kids from across Armenia had signed up. This is a significant number. It means that at least 43,000 students are serious about their education and have the desire to match their skills against those of their peers. It seems to me this is a strong testament to the rising quality of education in Armenia. Education is the thing that the Armenian people needs the most after its daily bread. During the early years of Armenia's independence, when the country was at war and faced severe hardships, the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund was among the first to support the homeland's education sector. We are grateful and always remember the work of the Hayastan All-Armenian Fund in those terrible years, the cold and dark years between 1994 and 1998, when the organization completely renovated the main building as well as the dormitories of our campus, making for a vastly improved learning environment.
These students are Armenia's greatest wealth. As Haikaz Navasarjan points out, Armenian youths have what it takes to make enormous strides in the global scientific arena, which is all the more reason to invest consistently in Armenian educational excellence.